Hey guys, so as you can tell, I pretty much just got out of the shower. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how to naturally do your makeup. So I'm going to start with Maybelline BB Dream. It's really awesome, but it can weigh your skin down a lot and cause acne. So you're gonna, if you're going to use this, you're probably really going to want a good face cleaner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little bit of a dab on my thumb. Now, one of the big mistakes people make when using foundation is they rub it. You don't want to rub, you want to dab. So you also want to try and find a shade that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. It'll make yourself look more natural. If you go with the darker, it's going to be harder to blend. So I'm just going to go... You can go into problem spots, you can go everywhere in your face, you don't have to put it on at all. It really is preference. I prefer, obviously, to do my whole face. It just makes putting on the rest of my makeup a little bit easier. So when you rub it, it won't cover as well, so dabbing works perfectly. And I want to get in these corners. And it's okay if you need more, if you ever need to put more on. I always rub it across my eyes because I don't need a lot up there. It's just to kind of give them some color so that when I put the eyeshadow on the back of my eye you don't see like veins because you're not white. So I'm going to continue dabbing until it's all there. A lot of foundations you will find are really liquidy. so dabbing becomes extremely important or you'll end up using the whole bottle just to get your nose done. Okay. So, obviously, some of my pimples are very obvious, some of them not so much, but that's okay because I will go back with blush and finish covering them up. So, let me just make sure it looks nice and even. Alright, so I have a little bit left, so I'll just do from here. You also want to get underneath your eyes because like if you're like me and you don't get enough sleep, you get dark circles. So I usually use the thicker part of my sponge. You don't have to use a sponge, you can use your finger. I prefer a sponge, it works better. If you're a beginner, use your finger until you kind of get the hang of it. So the next thing I do is my eyes. So I have blue eyes, I don't know how well you guys can tell, but yes, I do have blue eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. makeup, love e.l.f., fabulous. Um, the brushes are fantastic, their makeup is good quality. I actually got a pack of e.l.f. makeup for Walgreens for $5, at Walgreens for $5. So I'm going to take the lightest shade of purple, or I can take this white, so this or this. I'm just going to apply it the whole, whole part of my eye even at my eyebrow. So you can see I'm getting that nice crease. And this will also help to even out the back of your eye. Um, a lot of girls that wear eyeliner on the top or dark eye makeup will, you'll see using concealer and foundation on their eyes a lot because it doesn't wash off as well. So. Um, I found doing makeup on yourself actually works a, is a lot easier, obviously, than doing it on other people. Okay, so now I have that nice base, you can see my eyes are standing out a little bit more. So for blue eyes, browns and purples work best. So I'm not going to use this brown, this is all e.l.f. You can get this at Walgreens. So I'm not going to use this light shade of brown on just my eyelid. So you see I'm not going up here, I'm not doing... Where that meets that, yeah, I'm just doing yeah. it. Now, this is for a natural look uh, when you're just starting out with makeup. There will be some more advanced videos, but I'll have to use my old brushes because these are new brushes, so I'm just getting accustomed to them. <laughs> okay, so my eyes are really starting to pop. The next thing I don't want to do, well, cleaning your brushes is very important. If you don't have time to like soak them in water and vinegar, you can always just go like that and get rid of some of it. The next thing I use is this e.l.f. brush. It's like a little crayon, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's very hard. 
and it works great. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this darker shade of purple and I'm going to put it on the edge of my brush. So this is like a crayon, so it's going to like draw on. Now people usually say, oh, well, why are you using a purple with such a brown color? Well, actually, the crease should be the darkest part of your eye because of course it's the crease and it creates that nice little shadow so we're just going to keep going okay so that's it for eyeshadow back of your eye unless of course you want to do liquid eyeliner elf of course and liquid eyeliner is a little bit difficult to apply uh, it's a little bit harder to get off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eye I'm actually going to stretch it so I can get that nice clean line just like that. Um, you can see it doesn't look too good right now. I haven't applied the mascara yet. So I want to get in a little bit more. I get in as far as I can. See I got a little in my eye. That's fine. Um, what will end up happening is it, it just washes away. I mean, make, eye makeup is made to get in your eye, so if it gets in your eye, it's not like the end of the world. Also, be careful because I have eye, liquid eyeliner on my hands, so I'm going to use a finger that doesn't really have as much on my hands. This is also how you can make a cat eye if I were to just flick it up like that, it would be a cat eye. So towards the end of it, I can see that it didn't kind of fall through. So I'm just going to go back and redo it real quick. I'm usually worse at the size, so. I'm going to try to make it look as even as possible. So now I have that done, I'm actually going to take my e.l.f. mascara. Now I usually use Big Lash, or Great Lash, Great Lash, Big Lash, kind of synonyms, right? Um, but I just got this e.l.f. and it's awesome, so I'll use e.l.f. on one eye and Big Lash on the other so you guys can see the difference for yourselves, if I can get this open. <laughs> That's actually eyeliner. Uh, same little thing, right? See, this one's just a little bit thicker. Okay, so I'm going to go up, up, up. You want to do your best to get the root. Oh, man. You don't need the big fancy falsy flare brushes. You just need to be able to apply it in the right way so that it creates that look for you. Now, I've taken professional modeling classes, so I obviously know how to do this. So for you girls that are just starting out, you're going to want to experiment a little bit. So like I have blue mascara and that kind of stuff. Okay, so my eye makeup is pretty much done. I just want to make sure I don't really have any black dots on the back of my eye because that would be bad. Oh, you can also do bottom. My bottom usually wears off, but I'll show you how to do it. You just want to pull your eyelid down. And kind of move it like that. So you see like that. Um, if you get that little part down there, you can just simply wipe it away. This is not Elf. This is actually from Claire's. It's very cheap. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I just needed eyeliner. <laughs> um, liquid eyeliner on the bottom. In my experience, does not turn out well. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. Alright, so I now have this bold looking, kind of natural looking eye. I mean, you can obviously tell I'm wearing makeup, but it's not a lot that you're like, oh my gosh, she looks horrible because she wears so much makeup. Just the head, that's not what you think. Okay, the next thing is I have to teach you 
the difference between three different brushes. One of these brushes I actually will not use blush on. I actually don't use blush on either of these two. I actually use it to uh, like smooth out my foundation like that. I usually do that. But this is thicker, more bristles, and it's harder. So I use Ulta Blush. I've had this for a while, as you can see. Now when I started out, I was using Sweet Cheeks. Actually, I'm going to use Infatuation. And you can tell it's definitely way darker than my skin tone, but that's okay. So I'm applying blush. You want to make a fishy face like this. So you can see your cheekbones. It's also good to know um, what your facial structure is. So I have a heart shape, so I know where, kind of where my cheekbones is and I know how to contour. We're not going to go extreme on the contouring because this is natural. You see those girls that go out and buy the 50 different shades of foundation to do it, but we're not going to do that. So I'm just going to make sure I get it all the way up. Now blush isn't only supposed to be used in your cheeks, you're actually supposed to use it any place you're naturally blushed. So now I'm going to use the lightest shade, which is Sweet Cheeks, you can tell I use that a lot. I'm actually going to apply the lightest shade where I'm naturally blushed. This will make it look pink, because that's where you're naturally pink, I mean nobody can help it, but natural at the same time. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm actually going to take one of my old makeup brushes and take the take one of the darker shades. This will give it a little bit of contouring, but not too much. So I'm going to apply it on the inside of my nose. You can see that line? Just spread it. Now, if you realize you make a mistake on your blush, blush is awesome because you can just like go like that and fix it. Underneath my cheek. So this will blend it a little bit better. You see, this side looks thinner than this side right now, and the shadows are totally in my favor. Now, when it comes to hair, hair is really up to what you're wearing and what it looks like. One of the main things I see girls doing wrong with their hair is they start here. You're going to get so many split ends. Start at the bottom of your hair, make sure you have a good conditioner in. Start at your ends and work your way up. So I have bangs. So I'm starting here. And then I'm gonna work my way up. There's still some knots. So I already did those ends. Now let me show you what's gonna happen if you start at the top. <laughs> See, it hurts and it gets caught. So I usually do all around my head first, and then just like that. Now, I have a leave-in conditioner that I use. It's Garnier Fertis. I absolutely adore this. Um, it works so well. So what you want to do is you want to take a dab-sized amount, about that much, and you want to rub it in between your hands. And then flip your head over on the pot. Make sure you get as much of your hair as possible. And now when it dries, it'll be sleek and shiny and it won't be a hot mess. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. February 1st I'll have how to do makeup for homecoming and how to do hair. So my friend Laura will be teaching you guys how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys now know how to do your makeup for a natural day out. Um, bye, have a good week.